Hello, um, I'm going to show you how to connect the iControl pad to your Windows PC. Uh, in this case, it's a Windows 7 PC. Uh, we've got various modes available. We can use it as joypad or a joystick, or we can use it as a mouse. Um, you can find the different modes in the instruction manual. The default is the SPP mode, that's if you use it with an iPhone, or you can use it as a keyboard, keyboard and mouse, joystick, mouse, and a special package mode and as a gamepad. Well, how do you switch those modes? Basically, it's pretty easy. While the eye control pad is switched off, you just press the button and then start until it switches on. So let's see, let's first try the mouse mode, that's A and B buttons. So A and B are these two. Keep them pressed and then press and hold start. You see the LED going on. Now there's two short flash, uh, three short flashes, which means it has acknowledged that mode. Now it's blinking and now we are ready to pair. So let's go to Windows here. Open the Bluetooth devices screen and then select add a device. It will now look for various devices and it found a printer and a Bluetooth mouse, which is the eye control pad as you can see here. So go to next, it starts connecting the device and mm, it failed. Well, this is a weird thing with Windows, you have to enter a code to pair it. So press red, right mouse button instead of next and click add device. And then you can enter the device's pairing code. So enter one, two, three, four, and then it finally connects without any error. So this device has been successfully added to this computer. It took a while for my Windows to install the driver. It took about one minute. But now you can see I can move around the mouse pointer with the knob with the left one. And I can use my buttons here as uh, right click and left click. One thing, it's damn fast. So we want to change that. And there you've got the pointer options. And you can select the pointer speed. So let's make it slower. That's a bit too slow. Make it a bit faster. Apply. Okay, so now I've got a nice mobile device where I can move the mouse, do left clicks, do right clicks, just work with Windows, which is perfect if you're on the go and want to do a presentation, then you can just use the mouse mode. Okay, next let's take a look at the gaming mode. So switch off the eye control pad, which is press and hold start button until you got a LED lighting up and then just let go and it switches off. Now next thing we want to do is go into the uh, joystick mode, that is the X button. So press the X button, keep it pressed, Press and hold start until you've got the three flashes again. There you go. Now it's in joystick mode. Then basically on Windows do the same. You add the device. It will find it. This time it's an input device. Doesn't know yet what it is. Right click. Add device. Enter the device's pairing code. That's one, two, three, four. And press enter. Now it's paired. Just one thing, um, if it takes too long for you to uh, pair, the eye control pad will switch itself off. In this case, simply switch it on again and try again. Okay, driver is installed. So we can now go into game controller settings. You will see there is now an ICP joystick. And you can test all access here. That's the D-pad recognizes as buttons. You've got the buttons here, the remaining ones. You've got start, you've got select, and you can use the mouse, uh, the knobs to move around the axis here and the right knob for set axis and X rotation. So it's now set up as game controller, as a normal gaming controller, and you can now use it for emulators or for any games. So let's first try some game. If it, and see if it works. For example, let's try Super Tux. 
great free jump and run game. First thing we need to do is configure the joystick. You do this like with a normal joystick connected to the PC. So press up, down, left, right, configure all the buttons, jump. Uh, no, I won't jump on X, not on B. So action B, pause menu. Um, let's use start, peak left, the L. Peak right, the R. Well, I never peak up, down, so I can use the knob for that. Okay, so now we can start the game. And, okay, skip the introduction. And you can now use the eye control pad as a great D-pad to play Super Turks. You can peek right, peek left. You can make pause with the start button. Ah, Want to get big again. Here you go. So it works like a normal joystick. So it's great to have a very slim Bluetooth controller want to play with your friends or at home, D-pad buttons feel great. Well, and that was our little tutorial how to pair the eye control pad with Windows and use it as mouse or as joystick. Thanks for watching.